This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We converge to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. Yes, and we are glad that you have joined us this lovely day. Yes, my name is Willy Kinyash. And this day, the topic of our discussion is, when is the right time to leave a relationship? And there's a note saying that says, the opposite of love is not hate, but indifference. So when indifferences come in a relationship, how should we live and when should we live? We are all set for you. Welcome, sir. Yeah, and um, so we 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 are asking when should you stop from persisting to quitting? Mm -hmm. Because when you quit, it's like you're losing hope. Mm. And hope is a good thing. Many mm. times we want to maintain hope. Hope does not disappoint. So that we can be persistent and patient and we keep trying, we are positive. So what, where is the threshold? Mm. Really there is a kind of quitting that is for winners. There is a kind of quitting that is for winners. Mm -hmm. When you quit investing effort in, the ro in a place that is no longer rewarding, to take it to the right place, you're now you are a good winner. You are an entrepreneur. <laughs> you know this business is no longer worthy. Let me take this capital. Yes. So that then we collect the less of them. Take them there. <laughs> failure is not it's not the end. The real failure is not when you don't try. When you don't try, you've really failed. Mm -hmm. When you try, you learn something. Even if you don't win. Somebody yeah. said I never lose. Mm -hmm. I either win or I learn. Ah. <laughs> Positive mind. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when I go to attempt, attempt number two, mm -hmm. attempt number three, I am not the same as a guy who never attempted. Although I have three failures, I am not the same as you who does not have any failure or any win. I have learned. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have, I have, I have, I have exper I'm, I'm mounting experiences. Yes. I was studying the story of this, this uh, a nice rice, Moya. This guy was building a city someplace yeah. you, just from rice. Mm -hmm. He said he had been trying this over 10 businesses that were failing. Hmm. When he finally met this one, he had a lot of momentum. Yeah. So that's why you can see he's tracking to a lot of vengeance. It's like he's trying to compensate for everything that was not working. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so at least failure gives you momentum. Yes. <laughs> it gives you some... I must get something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. The kind of quitting we are describing today is not to encourage breakups. Mm is to tell you when you are supposed to practice the winning kind of quitting. <laughs> Where are we headed to? <laughs> <laughs> One, Willie, I want you to take relationships as projects. Okay? Just projects. Projects. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Evaluate it like a project. <laughs> Is it something you want some outcome? <laughs> you want it to move you somewhere? Yeah. But it will take investment in terms of mind, energy, money, all of you. <laughs> and if it goes wrong, it will go wrong with you. Yes. <laughs> if it goes right, it will go right. <laughs> <laughs> Is it with me or with us? <laughs> you, know, I just, you know when you're starting you're alone? Uh -huh. Wait, wait, you must look from your point of personal point of view. Uh -huh. A lot of people don't have individuation. They start dating a person, they tell you, oh, I noticed she has these red flags, but we talked about it. Uh, red flags. You don't talk about <laughs> that person. It is your interest. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> how do you discuss her drinking, her dishonesty, uh -huh. her disrespect, His her explosive anger, and we talked about it. Yes. And he promised that he would change. It is you are interested first. Yes. It's just a relationship. You alone. Mm -hmm. You personally. Mm -hmm. So we are giving you situations when you should quit as a winner. Mm -hmm. And carry your lessons <laughs> for the next one. Mm -hmm. And I hope really by now we know that relationships are not good things. Don't get into relationships. <laughs> 
a beautiful name. Love, not relationships. <laughs> Exclusive relationships don't help you. <laughs> they just create a closed-in environment where it has a lot of entitlements and unclear expectations. Mm -hmm. You're not wife. You're not husband. You are not a couple, but you are something. <laughs> something. Something. That something, what are you entitled to? It is something that is leading to something. So we always say it is leading, uh -huh. but does not always lead. Uh -huh. Many times it misleads. Ah, just stagnate there. Uh -huh. A lot of people they just look for that exclusive to be called somebody's boyfriend, mm -hmm. to feel like they have someone in their life. Mm -hmm. Avoid relationships. Many times you are using them as a, as a painkiller for another loneliness you are supposed to be dealing with. <laughs> Sometimes you're using them to escape, <laughs> to escape from yourself. Many people have abandonment trauma. We are talking about people who are taken to boarding school in class one, class two, class three. Parents were thinking it's a classy thing to do mm -hmm. because boarding schools were expensive. They look like they are classy. Yeah. They are for the wealthy. Mm -hmm. If you separate a child from the family before they are ten, that child will struggle with deep abandonment trauma. These are the kind of people who always need relationships. Mm -hmm. Because they were abandoned, mm -hmm. they fear being alone, so they get into a relationship to deal with being uh, dumped mm -hmm. into boarding school, away from family, away from mom, away from dad, and into the world so early before they even knew what the world is about. It's a bad idea to dis dis disconnect a child from your family when they're that, they're that young. I don't know who came with that idea. It is so damaging. I'm still. Can you imagine having to struggle? And one, one person commented and said, you know, you made me con connect dots. Looking at my childhood, I could not trace. Why? She had at least identified the abandoned. She feared being alone so much. Mm -hmm. She feared being left. It was so... It's enough. Even when this person is not good for her, you know, <laughs> you, know you need to, to quit. Mm -hmm. But just that act of somebody walking out alone because you are thrown out mm -hmm. into the world too early before you knew. So, avoid relationship because many times you're using them to avoid. So, I'm having my issues. Yes. But instead of dealing with them, yes. I run into a relationship. Yes, because relationships are soothing. Mm. <laughs> they soothe you. <laughs> and remember the, the, two in, the two ingredients of addiction? The ingredients of addiction, again, is not the act, it's not the drug. It's soothing and avoidance. Oh, addictions work on those two things. Soothing and avoidance. Yes. <laughs> they comfort, they soothe, and no wind discomfort. And they help you avoid having to deal with <laughs> the real problem. <laughs> they buy time. <laughs> okay? While you're sipping that alcohol, you're forgetting that it's because you're angry with your father. <laughs> At least you buy another day. Yeah. Another week. He managed to avoid. And then when you are high, you don't remember, you don't feel the discomfort of the quarrel. You don't you remember your sober. Yeah. <laughs> so it's soothing and avoidance. Ah, I see. <laughs> All addictions swing on those two things. And if you're trying to help anybody with an addiction, don't bother going to the details of the activity they do. Either it is alcohol, pornography, or addiction to many men, many women, or gambling or it's not the real problem mm -hmm. that is only the um, a drug of choice mm -hmm. because of environmental convenience personality preference so if you're adult there you lose the point mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you really running away from what does this addiction scratch what is the itch and the itch my brother sometimes will be confusing because it's some people can't sit still when you come from a very chaotic home where there were explosions of anger, banging doors, breaking glass, shouts, stillness becomes triggering. Because there was always stillness before the storm. Are you aware that there are kids who only sleep at school because when other kids are making noise, that is normal? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you go to the field, no more children are playing. But the other one is no sleeping. Yeah, he's too late. <laughs> <laughs> that is more predictable. Mm -hmm. When there is quiet, they get triggered. Something bad is coming. 
I went through that and I tell you that is reverse psychology is very dangerous. So a lot of times people are addicted and going to relationships becomes an addiction itself mm. to avoid stillness, mm. being alone, to avoid calm. Although the relationship is explosive, and ask yourself, why do people consult you about 40 problems in their relationship? It's not a marriage. It's a relationship. Why are they listing on social media? 40. Or such deep disrespect, abuse. Why? This is only a relationship. Mm -hmm. Why are you still doing that? Because the relationship itself is a refuge mm -hmm. from something else they can't stand. So they are wondering, if I leave Yes. This man, I yes. leave this girl. Where will I go? And my brother Dungu Nyoro, there's a guy who does very good work with Watoto Asome, something uh, a yeah. mm. But he also does social topics. Yes. <laughs> people bring subjects at the top. And I noticed that people are asking him about the marriage that has broken up in such a nasty way, relationships that have gone south in such a bad way. And I want to tie it to the first way in which you shall know it's time to leave. When a relationship becomes more draining than it is a training, becomes a more draining ground than a training ground. Relationships are supposed to be a place where you evolve in, mm -hmm. to stimulate your growth, to boost your becoming better, to have somebody to validate you, give you feedback, believe in you, support you, cheer you on. You cheer them up, you polish each other up, you train, you correct each other in love, you, you invest in each other. That should be the normal in a relationship. Mm. So I noticed that people are sending this, uh, 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 my brother, questions. That were discussing only the end story. So they were bringing very grisly and disturbing. Oh, this lady took away this and they took my money, did report a trauma, this guy, ten years. You read, you feel chills. And I told them, my brother, you know people are telling you the fruit. <laughs> Can you always ask about the root? Uh -huh. They are traumatizing you to make you think all oh, marriages are useless, there's no point. And yet, they don't tell you the foundation they put. Mm. These were not marriages, they were refuge from psychological wounds they did not want to heal. They never evaluated this person to be a healthy husband or a healthy wife. They ran into something to avoid being alone. They went even sleeping, having sex, everything, and now they try to make it look like marriage, then they stay there in a, in a stupor, in a kind of stupor, and 10 years past, 15. Imagine after 15 years, what did that say? Imagine 15 years of what? Mm. Of refuge. Both of you are in refuge. Sometimes mm. both of these people are not healthy at all. They are helping each other to avoid their lives. Mm. They may get children in between. They may even build a business in between, but they never healed. And then they come here traumatizing you. <laughs> with the things that have happened the marriage to and then people are going to nowadays is the marriage even worth it my mm. friend mm -hmm. let me tell you it is worth it if you yourself you're worth it you know sometimes it's not the marriage that is failing is the people who are failing yes marriage doesn't fail people's people fail the marriage yeah, exactly. <laughs> no it's the other way mm -hmm. <laughs> many times when People are telling you how chaotic, explosive it was. Always remember, could it have been a refuge? Mm. You know it's time to leave. When you're arguing more than you're admonishing each other, when you are conflicting more than you're complimenting, when you, there's more tears than there is, more, than there is joy. joy, when you cannot converse normally, it's just conflicting. When you leave that relationship tired, those conversations seek. Do you know there are people who are going past midnight every day sorting issues? Mm -hmm. to Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they come in the work, come to work tired. They have just reported and they are tired. You're trying to hand them some what? <laughs> and you're wondering, boss, why are you coming? It's so only morning. Uh -huh. People are upbeat, they're energetic. This one is just breathing. <sighs> And I hope, I hope, uh, especially brothers, because men have the gift of being rational. Women are also rational. We're not saying we, they don't think. But the de facto operation for men is the reason. Mm. The basic need for men in relationships is freedom, 
the basic need for relationships for women in relationships is safety. Uh. Okay? When men and women come together, what is on top of the man's head? Freedom. That I don't lose my freedom. freedom. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I want to be free. What is the basic need for the woman that I want to be safe? I am safe. I don't be hurt. I don't want to be betrayed. I don't want to be. We both need safety, but I'm telling you, from our psychological makeup as male and female, our approach is very different. So I used the, the idea of freedom to tell you because men have this, they need space to operate, to function. I gave you the other day in one of the shows of the progression how men go through the dance until they can commit to a woman, new woman they like. They come from ex when they fall in love, they feel afraid that they might lose their freedom. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because in, when a woman has your heart, what do you have? You stole my heart. So somebody <laughs> came and. <laughs> <laughs> so now you are at their masses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So men, when they fall in love, it's anxiety. Mm -hmm. Because he's like, what is being threatened? Freedom, <laughs> you know, and mm. he finds himself unable to relax until somebody talks to him. Ah. The panacea of his soul. Mm. Now, there before he was the medicine of his own soul. Whenever he died, any any pain, he swallowed some panadol and he was okay. Now there's another panadol of a person. I think you can't buy, the, can't buy in the shop at will. Yeah. <laughs> this one has opinions of our own. Yes. So, one of, I brought this up to say a lot of times I want us men to exercise our free thinking mind mm. and to know basic fundamental rules of a healthy relationship, healthy marriage. You do not cross over to sex when you're trying to learn a woman for marriage, it's, it's suicidal. Mm. Don't cross that line. You don't cross that line. Your hunger will tie you to that woman. Yeah. Your sexual hunger will make her feel tastier. My brother. <coughs> you are coming from 30 years of famine. <coughs> and you are dipping your in a cake. <coughs> <coughs> So this man who comes say, oh, this, and you're sleeping with her? It's, 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 it's almost disrespectful to expect me to apply my mind where you're only applying your stick. No, surely. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. <laughs> you want me to apply? My, and you, you apply what? Stick. No. Honestly, uh, come, come on, yeah. come on, come on now. Uh, <laughs> if you are looking for a life partner for the long haul, my brother, you cannot cross that line. Mm. You cannot cross that line. Men, we are being deceived to think we are the hunters. We are smashing. We are smashing it. And sly women know how to make you think you are smashing it. And they play along to make you think you are in control until you are committed. And then, she unleashes her weapons. She's <laughs> uncooperative, difficult, controlling, domineering, and you surrender. Mm. How many men today are the victims? They have to work like they are okay. And you can see he's dying inside. If you're arguing more than you are demolishing each other, if you are quarreling more than you are agreeing, my brother, it's time to leave. But you may ask me, all oh, relationships have challenges. What is the difference between challenge and red flag? No more disagreements have empathy, have kindness, they have respect. Mm. No more disagreements. Yeah. You may also have empathy, kindness, and respect, but you are incompatible. Fundamentally working for different things in life, seeing life differently. And you're not, you, you cannot find middle ground. Mm. Opposites attract, but when, when you are too opposite, you attract, then you attack. Opposites attract, but you should be opposite while you also have similarities. Mm -hmm. You should have you should have things that are dissimilar so that you can complement each other. But you should have things that are similar so that you can connect. When you have nothing in similar, you don't connect. 
when you don't have anything similar, you don't connect. connect. There's no middle ground. Yeah. When you have everything similar, you have no usefulness for each other. Yeah. All of you know it all. You know, <laughs> yeah. they say parallel, parallel lines have so much in common. Mm -hmm. It's a pity they never meet. Because they are parallel. Yeah. They never meet. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we keep on going. We may be close, but we are not together. Mm -hmm. And because we are going parallel, many people, have you seen parallel couples? Mm -hmm. They're just walking parallel, yeah. talking parallel, mm -hmm. thinking pa 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 parallel. <laughs> They mm -hmm. never partner. They're just parallel. So they are two individuals. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they become co-parents mm -hmm. and housemates. Mm -hmm. But no connection. They can collaborate in things, but they, don't, they are not useful to each other. Mm -hmm. Careful now. The first thing to know you are, you, it's time to leave is when the relationship is draining the energy out of you, sucking the energy out of you. You may ask me, what if I feel paralyzed? That paralysis is a symptom by itself. Mm -hmm. Walking out of something you had invested cannot be easy, naturally. If you are generally, genuinely in, it will not be easy. Mm -hmm. But it should be possible. <coughs> Once you've made your decision, you will work out. It will be hurting, but you'll be able to work out after you make your decision. In this life, it should be always to pull out, to, to carry out your decisions, even when they are painful. Even when there is self-doubt and confusion. You have decided to cut off people. You've decided to move on from things. You've decided to forget about some people. There are times you really did those things because it was necessary, isn't it? Yeah. When you did the amount of necessity, what happened? You, 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 you plowed through. Mm -hmm. You made decisions and plowed through. But when you fight yourself, you have decided to do it, but your body won't move. Now, go for therapy. This relationship was an addiction to replace another void. And you're trying to get rid of an addiction. It's different between breaking up from a relationship and breaking up from... Okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you need step-by-step step withdrawal. There are symptoms. Yeah. There are cravings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, illicit things are always addictive. Illicit things are always addictive. And one lady called me and she was addicted to a married man. And said she got pregnant with this married man. Oh, the pregnancy got lost at some point. Now the guy does not want anything to do with me, but I want to get another child to replace Arnold. And she's only 27. <laughs> and I'm telling her, you know what? This is an addiction. You came to this relationship to replace another problem. There's something else that is aching you, and this was a replacement for it. If you don't address that thing, this new replacement itself will complicate your life. You end up having a child, end up being changed in your life, you being so traumatized, now you have trauma number two. Do you see the problem as psychological problems yeah, yeah. that we ignore? Mm -hmm. The alcohol you went to, to silence the pain of being the wrong career, itself now the alcohol became an, an independent problem. Yeah. <laughs> so that even when you find, you solve the career issue, uh, now the alcohol is an independent problem. problem. Mm. It, it got into your nervous system. Got into your bloodstream, mm -hmm. got into your chemical ma makeup. Your ma and what will what will you do? Another struggle. Mm -hmm. Psychological problems pile up. They pile up, one after the other, after the other, after the other. They reach a point where, unless you know how to, you are conscious enough. And our hope really is, we are we are bringing these conversations to Africa, to minimize the delay of our destiny. Many people never became anything in Africa because we never healed. Yeah. And we are, we are meant to think being tough is the, is the thing. Mm -hmm. The second sign that it's time to go is when the relationship cannot incubate your growth, your greatness, mm -hmm. cannot help you become. These are relationships that are not explosively abusive or stressful. They are not... Remember you said, we are using relationships because of the pervasiveness of our culture. You don't need relationships. Mm -hmm. You need to study people without exclusive relationships. Yeah. Your dating should not lead to exclusive arrangements. Mm -hmm. Give me a chance. Become my boy. No. Don't give each other a chance, baby. Get into exclusive things. A chance means let's talk. Yeah. When you want to give people a chance, just talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Brother, just this. have a normal conversation. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me know who you are, what you live for. Mm-hmm. Let me sense you out. Converse. Don't get into a... My relationships never last. They never go past five months. They never go past one year. The last one, the longest was. Why are we counting relationships? You don't need relationships. Really, you only get into engagement courtship with a person whom you have settled on. I was never in a relationship because I knew mm-hmm. they bring complications. Yeah. They, they bring an intent. You know, they excite your feelings. Mm-hmm. That person is so much into, into your cl- here. Here. Yes. <laughs> and here. <laughs> <laughs> you feel them. Yes. What kind of struggle is that? And then you are not walking actively towards marriage. We are trying to learn each other. That's why people fall. That's why people fall. Mm-hmm. If you are careful to remain standing, my brother, avoid some things. Mm-hmm. If you know you are single, you, what your aim is marriage. Relationships are not for people who want to get married. It is for people who want to use each other in a single marriage situation. But many are not aware that it's a trap. You are supposed to converse until you find the one who is... You are compatible for marriage and you are ready for marriage and you start the journey of marriage, not relationship. Mm-hmm. We've been dating five years. Do what? <laughs> for five years. <laughs> so, wasting each other's life. Long term relationships are just a pseudo coded word for informal marriage. Pseudo. <laughs> eh? Just informal marriage. Eh? So, the second situation is when you realize this I'm not being incubated to become. This person is not careful, is not even concerned with my growth. They don't help you um, get better jobs. They don't help you stretch. They don't help you evolve. They don't help you move to the next level. When you realize every time that you are dealing with a person who either they are scared of your potential, either they are not sure what you want to do, Either they don't, they, 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 the moment you realize that a person is holding you back in any way, you shall always leave. Again, they may not attack you. Mm. They may not even actively discourage you. I know you know about negative people, but let, today I'm warning about neutral people. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they are there. They yes. are just there. Yes. Mm-hmm. They don't inject energy. They don't directly pull you back, they're just a dead weight. Neutral people mm. are difficult because they're just, okay, okay, okay. You try to know I'm dealing with the person who is full of negativity. <laughs> <laughs> this mistake is very common with brothers mm-hmm. because some ladies are just neutral. So whatever you say, Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, the same. <laughs> <laughs> and to us brothers, you think this woman is very submissive. <laughs> brothers mistake submissive with being what? You know? Yeah. The women are just neutral. <laughs> How far can your car go with neutral? <laughs> How far can your car go with neutral? When you try to, you're climbing a hill and you put neutral, you go back. <laughs> That's the problem. Yes. If it was going slope and you put neutral, it goes. Yeah. Yes. If the slope is back, you put neutral, it goes. That's the problem in neutral. Yes. It don't affect your life. Mm-hmm. You go with the gravity. Mm-hmm. If the gravity is backward. <laughs> hey. If you're clever, you stop there. Yeah. Neutral people are very fertile, okay? They get children, eh? <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> but they are a rolling stone. This is a rolling stone. Uh-huh. They don't have energy. Uh-huh. They don't engage. Uh-huh. Are you aware there are girls who are being raised for that? They just want a rich guy. That guy has some money. Uh-huh. Mm. It's very hard working. My children can never lack food. <laughs> 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 uh-huh. But it's for her. She's a neutral party. You know those MPs? <laughs> they gave us a list of MPs who have never said anything mm. in Parliament. Yeah. <laughs> they are just they are sleeping. <laughs> you know? <coughs> so they don't oppose, they don't support. <laughs> they are neutral. <laughs> hey. Whenever you realize 
you are with a person who they listen all you have to say, but then they have nothing to say. They are not oppose what you say, but they are the way I do it. <laughs> Your ego may think this is one is a, this one is easier to control. You control what? You know those, those trolling in the supermarket? Yeah. They have no engine, but they have no direction. <laughs> you have to give them direction. <laughs> and they can move 3D. Yes. Sometimes you have to fight with it. Yes. it gravity. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go this way. You don't have to turn this. <laughs> because the wheels are facing. Yes. Now, these neutral characters, mm. how far can you move with a trolley? <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they give it 3D. <laughs> Mm. In both sides. Yeah. I mean, they could just put the ones in front. Yes. What do they put? <laughs> so you are you're, you're fighting with it. <coughs> and you can become dramatic when people are many. <coughs> and you are loaded. Yes. And now you have to go with it to the lift. I don't know about which floor. <laughs> this thing has no direction. Yes. And no agenda. Neutral. Mm. Be careful with neutral people. Mm. They are not stable. They don't have a stabilizer effect in your life. One lady who bakes cakes told me a concept that I like. She said, those cakes look intact and they have layers. She told us, we put stabilizers inside. Because if you just put a cake, cream, another layer, cream, and then it's being transported. In between the cream, so it will just slide and fall. Mm. She said, cakes are soft and they are good things, but there is a mechanic to it. Sometimes when you cut, she said, you may cut, you find sticks inside there. Yes. Because we are trying to hold the layers together. Mm -hmm. I hear even nowadays, the large size, the one that is down there, may be dummy mm. for decoration. Yeah. The one that is edible is just... Uh, but you guys wanted to see a big wedding with a big what? Cake. cake. So, we brought a big cake. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go say that. It was, big, it was a big cake. <laughs> uh -huh. But who wants to bake all that? How much money? Mm -hmm. So they just get cartons yeah. <laughs> to impress you. Yes. <laughs> and everybody, the, the insiders know which one to cut. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. creative. Mm -hmm. This to say, some people don't stabilize your life. They're just there. They may be sweet like a cake, mm -hmm. but not stabilizers. Mm -hmm. mm. And they're just there. You shall quit those people, not for ah, oh, because people when they hear red flag, they really want red, red. Okay, mm -hmm. a very red, red. Yes, the red that is really red. Yeah, this is not a very red flag. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not alarming as much. Mm -hmm. eh? Mm. <laughs> this person does not threaten your life immediately. Mm. They may not shoot you. They are cool people. They may they not even neutral. cheat. Mm. <laughs> and um, if you are being recommended by a spiritually minded person, they will describe how calm. Calm. Mm. Mm. The She's a calm girl. You know. Very calm. And you jump there because you, that person will tire you. <laughs> they don't engage their dream. So it's to say, whenever you feel any kind of drain in terms of I don't feel addition, don't feel injected, you will never evolve to your potential. Yes. Wow, thank you so much. And in that relationship, are you growing? Because if you're not growing, then there's something that is pulling you down. And ask yourself, in this relationship, am I getting drained? Or, or am I getting trained? What is your take home? Would love to get your feedback under the comment section. Let us know what you have learned from this lovely topic. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Willy Kinyash. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal.